Okay, this question is about that, you know, uh, some pastors that they take up all the responsibilities and they're too busy and, and, and talking about Exodus 18 that Moses was told that to de delegate. So the question. Hili swali liyotoka katika kitabu cha kutoka, linalo zunuzia Moses aliambiwa wakati liko kwa Jethro ya kwamba apeane uongozi katika wenzake lakini inapatikana ya kwamba sisi ambao tunaanzisha huduma sisi ndio waweka zina sisi ndio makatibu sisi ndio wahubiri sisi ndio evangelist sisi ndio waimbaji na tunakula pesa za kanisa swali so, hili tunaweza saidiwa na mna gani okay now any pastors who take up too much responsibilities and too busy he was his He's not going to have peace of mind. He's not going to have, you know, anointing of God. He won't have enough time to pray. Mchungaji yote ambaye atachukua huu uongozi wote kanisani hatakuwa na amani. Hatakuwa na wakati wa kuomba. Kwa hivyo hatakuwa na upako juu ya maisha yake. Now how can he solve the problem? Na yeye anaweza suluhisha shida na mnadhani. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12 wa Korinto wa kwanza mlango wa 12 he talk about different spiritual gifts inasungumzia huduma eh, tofauti wa kiroho god gives Ama the holy spirit gives spiritual gifts according to his will eh, roho mtakatifu anapeana kulingana na mapenzi yake kila kiwango cha eh, kipao we find it in the kingdom of god god will give different spiritual gifts to different people in the church. Naangalia katika ufalme wa Mungu, Mungu atapeana huduma tofauti wa gharama na vipawa kwa watu tofauti. The responsibility of pastor is not to do everything himself. Jukumu la mchungaji sio la kufanya kila kitu kanisani. The responsibility of the pastor is to train people so they can enter into different kinds of ministry. Jukumu la mchungaji ni kufundisha waamini ili waingie katika huduma katika sehemu tofauti tofauti za kanisa wakifanya kazi ya Mungu. Like for instance for myself, many people came to me for help to pray for them and counseling. Kwa mfano, mimi mwenyewe watu kuja kwangu kwa maombi na pia kuwashauri. If I do everything myself, I won't have time. Ikiwa nitafanya kila kitu mimi mwenyewe sitakuwa na wakati. So I train the people so the people can learn to counsel and pray for people. Kwa hivyo na nafundisha wa, waamini ili wapate kuelewa kushauri watu wa watu wanapokuja. And one day when we see Jesus Jesus will say you have been faithful because you have trained these people to serve God. Na siku moja tutakuwa mbele za Yesu na atasema wewe umekuwa mwaminifu na umekuwa mwaminifu wa kufundisha wanafunzi wangu ambao wamefanya kazi because as pastors one day when we stand in front of god we have to be judged according to how we raise up the members eh, kama wachungaji tuna jukumu ya kwamba wakati tutakuwa tumewacha huu ulimwengu tutasimama mbele za kristo jinsi vile tulivyokuwa tukifanya kazi if, if we do everything ourselves jesus may say you have failed your job ikiwa tutafanya kila kitu sisi wenyewe tutakuwa tu Yesu atasema wewe haukufanya kazi nyingi because all your members couldn't do the job and then they all come to me with well, two bunches of banana empty handed <laughs> na waamini wa wako watakwenda mbele za utaenda mbele za Bwana bure na viganja vya ndizi viwili ikionekana kwamba haukufanya kazi yoyote Yesu atasema wewe haukufanya kazi and you yourself overwork and you don't pray much na wewe umejifanyisha kazi nyingi na hauombi sana so we need to you know train up people when whenever we see someone who is willing we want to help them spiritually and train them eh tunahitaji kusaidia watu na tunahitaji kuwasaidia kiroho na kuwasaidia now to do ministry they have to be first to help to take care of life's problem eh kitu cha kwanza wanahitaji kuchukua mashauri ya yeah, yeah, uh, kushauri eh, waamini that so that he doesn't have pride pride or doesn't have family problems 
So he learned to handle this problem. Ili asiwe na kiburi ama aelewe kushughulikia jamii yake. And then we train them in ministry. Alafu tunawafundisha kuhusu huduma. And God has put the heart in many Christians that they're willing to serve God. Mungu ameweka jukumu na waamini wengi ambao wanataka wamtumikie Mungu. So the answer is to raise up people to serve God. Kwa hivyo hapo eh, eh, jawabu ni kwamba tuinue watu kanisani wasai, wa, wa, tuwafundishe ili wafikie wengine.